Celebrities in the basement, the place to be. Karen Wilder Martin on your TV. Politics, drama, music, sports, arts. Favorite celebs, climbing the charts. First hand info on the live. Careers, next projects on the rise. Come visit Karen every week. Never know who's in the hot seat. Celebrities in the basement is the place. I'm Karen Walla Martin, and welcome to Celebrities in the Basement. As you see, we are not in the basement today. Today, December 14th, 2021, Hubby John and I are in Newark, New Jersey, celebrating the late rising star and legendary singer Linda Jones with the unveiling of her street name, Linda Jones Way. Linda topped the charts with her 1967 hit, Hypnotized, produced by legend hit maker George Kerr. Linda went on to make three albums and more hits. March 14, 1972, Linda passed away at the age of 27 as a result of diabetic coma. She had just finished a big tour and was performing at the Apollo Theater in Harlem, New York. And dying so young, it's unknown just how big she would have become. And in decades following her death, a wealth of unreleased music was found and her daughter, Terry Jones, and artist producer Helen Bruner teamed up to release Soul Talking in 2008. Off the LP of Soul Talking, Baby I Know received a Grammy nomination. On this day, today, December 14, 2021, government officials, family, neighbors, and friends came out to celebrate not just the unveiling of Linda Jones's street name, but it is also Linda Jones Day in the city of Newark, New Jersey. And it's her birthday. Stay tuned for exclusive interviews with Linda's daughter, Terry Jones, artist producer, Helen Bruner, producer, George Kerr, and close sister friend, songstress, Carol Riddick and see highlights of the day's celebration and events. Awesome, man. Thank you to everybody for coming. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. All family. All family. Remember, Pop Pop is here. Okay, Pop Pop. Okay, Pop Pop. <laughs> Just thanks to everyone. Thanks to the city of Newark for this amazing, amazing honor. Um, our family lives right here at 165 Sherman Avenue, the Red House, two doors down. And um, that's where my mom spent her last few moments of her life. She was actually at the Apollo and she had two shows. She had an afternoon show. She was on there for two weeks. She had an afternoon show. She came home here to lay down, to take a rest in between shows before going back to New York. And she never woke up. She went into a oh. diabetic coma. So this is where she spent her last moments of her life. So this is super special. That my family is thankful. I'm thankful. Um, I like to thank a few people. I had to write my notes to make sure I didn't forget. Uh, the mayor of Newark, Raz Baraka, thank all you right, so all much. Right, all right. South War Councilman John Sharp James, thank you. Obalaji Baraka, who was involved in starting this as well. U.S. Representative Congressman Donald Payne Jr. Miss Emily Winslow, who actually helped push this through she was an angel to me on this as well. And last but not least, Mr. Joey Washington, who got the ball rolling on this. And I am just forever grateful to all of you. So I'd like to thank, thank you for your diligence in making this a top priority. Um, my family and I are very grateful 
to everyone. Thanks to everyone that drove far and near to be here. I'm so appreciative and I love you all. I love you all so much. <laughs> Terry Jones and Helen Bruner. What a day, let's talk about it. It was a, it was a triple threat today, okay? Linda Jones Day, the unveiling of her street name, and it's her birthday! How did this all come about? Let's talk about it. Well, I can tell you I'm overwhelmed right now. Yes. But it came about the city of Newark. My mom was born and raised and lived the last moments of her life here. And uh, I love this city because they saw it fit to honor her. Yes. So um, it's just been an amazing time. And it's her birthday. Yes. Happy heavenly birthday, mommy. Yes. And um, I'm, I'm just ecstatic. As you, should be, as you should be. And I know Helen had some something to yeah. say and had some some input in all this oh, happening. Yes, she did. A little bit, just a little bit. But Cause you know she she's a boss lady. She's a boss lady. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for Terry and Mom Linda, and thank you, the City of Newark and Philly. Yes, Philly is in the house in Newark. I mean, heavy. Thank you for that. Heavy. Philly is heavy, heavy here. Yes. More, maybe more than Newark. I don't know. At Listen, least 50-50. I think so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I want to say thank you to celebrities in the basement for always supporting us. Thank you. Yes, yes. Now, let's talk about re-recording, because it has happened already. Let's talk about re-recording your mother's legendary music. Um. Well, we recorded Soul Talking. Yes, yes. Believe it or not, Mr. Gamble said, that is your mother, and it gave me some things that had not been released. She had vocals in the can, and Helen and I decided to, to do a project called Soul Talking, and we got a Grammy nomination. Uh, uh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Applause. With Mommy. Mommy got her Grammy nomination, and um, we are just, we just was, for Baby I Know, which is a song off of the album. Anything, Helen? Yes. You got it. Yes. Go ahead, say something. I'm you were in it. it. Wait a minute. When is Helen quiet, ever quiet. lost for words or quiet? Let's 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 get that straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I did. I worked at a death. So what was the commute like? Let's talk about it in reference to working. Were you staying up here to get everything all together for a few days or what? Back and forth. Okay, okay. Yeah. Back and forth. But uh, I will say, I have to give her her credit. Yes. She works doing everything. When I say everything, I, I can't say enough. Yes, yes. She pushed me. She pushed me to make this happen. She pushed me to make me go back and regain my mom's legacy. So I'm just... Wait, let's just talk more about Linda Jones's legacy that happened today. Okay, the street naming, not only just for the city of Newark, New Jersey, but it's in Congress. It's all the way up. It's just as, as high as it can go. That's right. That's Was that right. a surprise for you today? Or you knew that was gonna happen? No, I didn't. Donald Payne Jr., he was the one that actually declared Linda Jones Day a few years ago in 2000, yeah, 13 years ago. And he presented me with a proclamation declaring it Linda Jones Day every year in North New Jersey on her birthday. So, and he's still active in it and still kind of pushing and I was just shocked. I was shocked. And so Linda Jones Day has always been on her birthday. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, he was a councilman mm -hmm. um, when he did this, mm -hmm. Donald Payne Jr. And now he's a congressman and he continued the legacy. So. Mm -hmm. It pays to know those in hierarchy, you uh -huh. know, as they travel up, you travel up as well. That is so wonderful. Yes. So, ladies, let's talk about what's going on in your camp. I know it's about Linda Jones, but there would be no you without Linda. So let's talk about that. Uh, well, we're, we're working on a new project. We're yes. super happy. You know, yes. with the pandemic and everything, as you know, music and the industry kind of slowed down. Oh, did it. And uh, well, now... It down. It came to a halt. It did. It came to a halt. Yes. It really did. Yes. So we have some, we have some uh, I guess I would say, surprises for our audience and the world. And I'm excited. 
to like for everybody to hear what we're doing. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, we're ready. We're coming. Yes. No different this time because we're older. Got some more life on our back. <laughs> I love these ladies. Let's talk about who discovered if they're under a rock. Your mother. Who was the first producer that produced? George Kerr. Yes. George Kerr. He's over here. Yes. I should bring him. Yes, yes. So I'll get, get a chance to interview him. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. George Kerr was her only producer. Yes. And um, just amazing. And you're going to hear from him later. Yes. yes. You're going to hear. Yes. And it's going to be amazing. Yes. He's got great stories. He was there for the whole thing. That's awesome. From that start awesome. to finish. Yes. yes. So. And how old were you, if you don't mind, when? You lost your mom. Oh, uh, I was really young. Like, what? Maybe six, maybe in that area. Do, do you actually remember her singing around the house or going to recording sessions? Or You know, what, what I, because I was so young. Yes. And that was just mom to me. Right, yes. So I yes. didn't remember a whole lot. I remembered more after because of course as even as a child not understanding really what just happened yes, yes. um you kind of shut down in a sense but my family they were seen and um as far as mom is concerned i you know it was hard for me to listen to her music for a long time and that was just pain because it, we didn't address it you know how we are as african-american families we don't address a lot we just move on mm -hmm. so I was able to do that with this one right here yes. and go back after many years and reclaim my mom's legacy and I'm just like I'm elated it's yeah. I'm elated too yeah. I'm elated and so thrilled to be here in this this is history in the mm -hmm. making right here yes yes, yes. We're just overwhelmed and excited, and I'm so happy for this one. It took a long time for me to get her to come to this point, and I'm overjoyed. She pushed me, y'all. <laughs> That's sisterhood right That's there sisterhood. for you. Yes, absolutely. God bless you. Love you, Love you too. Love you more, Karen. God bless. Have a great time tonight. All right. All right. Are you dancing? You. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm in a dancing mood. Wait. You hear Mom Linda? Hey. Uh -huh. hey. <laughs> That's when I come to live when I dance. Yes. Oh, yes, Me too. Right. What? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Proclamation from the Congress of the United States in recognition of street naming for Linda Jones, whereas Congressman Donald M. Payne Jr. recognizes the dedication of the street naming of the late Grammy nominated artist Linda Jones and whereas on her birthday, December 14th, 2021, we gather to honor a daughter of North at the corner of Sherman Avenue and Pioneer Street in Newark, New Jersey. This proclamation honors the late Grammy-nominated artist's achievements and whereas Linda Jones deserves this honor for becoming an accomplished soul singer with hits like Hypnotize and Your Precious Love and being posthumously nominated for a Grammy to honor her musical legacy which lives on through all the lives she touched. Now therefore be it resolved that on behalf of the residents of the 10th Congressional District of New Jersey, the undersigned member of the United States Congress, the Honorable Donald M. Payne Jr. hereby recognizes this honor bestowed upon Ms. Jones. Thank you, and this is Samantha, representative for the Congress's office, and uh, she ran red lights to get here, <laughs> and, uh, and, and clearly the congressman uh, definitely respected your mother and, and honored her legacy by taking the time out to get that approved yes. on a congressional level. God bless you. Thank you, Samantha. Now this officially concludes our presentation. Absolutely. The legendary producer, hit maker, Mr. George Kerr. What an honor, can I just tell you? Truly, truly an honor to stand next to you and interview you this evening. Today was in a phenomenal, phenomenal day, unveiling of the legendary Linda Jones's plaque. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how and what did you see in this lady 
that said, oh yes, she's a hit maker. Well, I had a track. I had cut a track on Hypnotize. Mm -hmm. And there was a little girl that was on it, but I, it was just a demo. Mm -hmm. I said, the song is the hit. Mm -hmm. I say, but uh, the little voice on it is not, it's not making it. Mm -hmm. So I told my friend, Jerry Harris. Yes. I yes. says, look, Jerry, I got a hit song. I said, but I need a girl that can walk water. Yes, yes. He said, I got walk the girl water. that could walk water. <laughs> so he brought me Linda Jones. And when I listened to Linda, goose pimples came on my arms. Wow. Wow. And I said, that's it, Jerry. I said, so I'm going to record Linda on it. So I took into the studio. Yes. And I recorded Hypnotized. Hypnotized. One yes. tape. Yes. And Linda said she was reading. And she says, I'm just going to run it down. I said, okay. And I told the guy, hit the button. Yes. And we recorded it, and she was reading it off the paper. So after we finished, uh, Linda Jones said, okay, George. Okay, I'm going to do it now. She says, um... I mispronounced the word hypnotized. Right, yeah. I was saying hypnotized. Right, yeah. I say, Linda, it's over. I'm not going to do so, anything. So she was reading the music, re reading the lyrics and the music as you were recording her. She had no idea you were recording her. Co correct. And it was a one take recording. Yes. Wow. And she thought she wasn't ready because of right, the pronunciation. Cause, right. Wow. So uh, I said, Linda, I got goose pimples on my arms, yes. and we're going to keep it. Yes. She says, George, if you don't let me do it again and straighten out that word, you're going to have goose pimples on your eight. <laughs> but you didn't. No, I did so not. So you had goose pimples on your eight. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so when we put the record out, the record... The rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. The record did two and a half million. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Tell my audience, that night, she, well, she was performing at the Apollo. Now, Apollo from uh, Newark, New Jersey, is just a hop, skip, and a jump. It's, right. You know, a train ride away or a, a few stops. What was that like, that night like? Because she was recording, excuse me, she was performing at the Apollo. She came home to Newark to go back to the Apollo. Right. I had her gowns in, in the trunk of my car. So I took them and went into the dressing room. And Linda told the, the band, okay, I know you guys been working hard, so I want you to, just to stop. Mm -hmm. I don't want no music. Mm -hmm. She took off her shoes and started to sing A Change Is Gonna Come and tow the place down. Yes, yes, yes. That's the last performance she did. And the next day, she went to her mother's house mm -hmm. and she laid down and she says, um, Mama, I'm a little tired. Her mother was cooking chicken. Mm -hmm. She said, when the very first piece of chicken is done, Wake me. She laid across the bed and went into a diabetic coma and passed. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a legacy. What history. The name of George Kerr's book is Hypnotized by George Kerr. How long right. has it been on the market? Well, it's been out now, I, I, I think about six months. Okay, yes. And then yes. I got a three CD audio book. Yes, yes. Also. Do you have them here tonight? Yeah. Let's let's get let's get them on camera. Let's see what they look like. Mr. Kerr has created a three CD audio book. Wow. An audio book is the absolute listen. You can listen to his life history while you're in the car, in the shower, doing the dishes, or whatever yes. the Whatever. You Correct. don't actually have to take time out to read it. You can listen to it. Yes. What a creative idea. Because I saw people doing it. Yes. And I yes. thought that was an idea. Yes. You know, a lot of people have people talking, 
about them, but I was talking about myself. Yes, yes. While a hundred of my songs that I produced was playing. Let's talk about the legendary artists that you produced. Run them down for us. Run them down. <laughs> well, Linda Jones, of, of course. course. <laughs> the OJs. Yes. Ray Goodman and Brown, yes. who was the moment. Mm -hmm. The Escorts. I produced Marvin Gaye. Mm -hmm. I produced Phyllis Hyman. Wow. Wow. Um, and a whole lot of others. Yeah. So many I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. And I just want to say that um, I produced a record that was sampled 512 times. What, what, what record is that? It was the Skull Snaps. The name of the song was It's a New Day. Wow. It was sampled 512 times cha -ching, cha -ching. <laughs> by some of the biggest art names, yes, names yes, yes. rap artists in the world. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So let's talk about the now or the future for you. Well, I'm going to, I just finished some tracks and I got a hit record for Terry. That's going to be my next project. Yes, yes. That's awesome. Yes. And, and do you have the name for that record yet? Yes. You hit me right where it hurt me. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to look out and listen out for that recording recorded by Terry Jones. Correct. Yes. Oh, God bless. I want to wish you the absolute best. Your novel, your next recording. Thank you Beautiful. so much. God bless. God bless you too. Hey there, okay. everybody. My name is Carol Riddick, and you are watching Celebrities in the Basement. Today is Linda Jones Day. And it, 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 so well today that Linda is being remembered, and people are aware of the contribution she made. In fact, one of the other delights uh, has, for me personally has been that Linda was inducted into the Soul Music Hall of Fame right. at soulmusic.com in the category of all of them kind of popular vote. So, you know, um, some people who live and leave massive legacies of recordings, some people don't. But it isn't, it isn't the number of recordings, it is the impact and the quality of those recordings that lives on. And so I am thrilled, delighted, proud to say that I've had a little bit to do with preserving the Linda Jones legacy. I am part of this, uh, this particular project uh, some years ago. Uh, it's the complete echo, Loma and one of all recordings of Linda Jones. Uh, again, you know, some amazing, uh, ex uh, those three Northern Soul classics, of course, hypnotized and her interpretations of great uh, songs by others such as The Beatles Yesterday. Uh, if you know, if you, if you want to know what a real soulful version of the beat of the Beatles song is, check out Linda's version of Yesterday and another uh, great classic ballad, I'm Aware of Nothing, which had been previously recorded by Benny King and Dee Warwick. Uh, just to say again, what a joy to be able to celebrate give honor to the great, iconic, legendary, and ever soulful Linda Jones. The fabulous, beautiful songstress from Philadelphia, Carol Riddick. She got on the on the road just as we did to support the Linda Jones Day. Happy Carol. Linda Jones Day Happy to you. Linda Jones Day. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yes. I don't know if I can put into words how excited I am yes. and just how much joy I feel for Terry alone. Yes. Just, yes. I mean, just to be able to see your mother yes. honored in this way. Yes. I mean, on her birthday. On to her have birthday. a street named after her. And, street and to, name. Right at home. Yes. Like, it's, I, it just does not get any better than that. No, it doesn't. And the weather was beautiful today. Immaculate. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it, was, it was like, it was the icing on the cake. It was the, the bow on the present. Yes. It really was. Yes. You know? yes. I'm just so happy to be here mm -hmm. to celebrate with her. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. 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 
and let's talk about, I believe they're getting ready to start their program. Oh, yes. The lights went out and I know. they came on and they went out. I don't know <laughs> That's our happening. cue. That's our cue. Yeah, that is our cue. But let's really quick talk about what's going on in Carol Riddick's camp. Oh my goodness. So, so much. I just, I just released the Christmas, well I redid the, the Christmas song, for those who don't know, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open yes, Fire. Yes. But I did it as a tribute to my parents. Um, since I, I'm without both of my parents and the holidays are really rough for me, yes. so it was more therapeutic than anything. Yes. But I was hoping that since there's so many of us who have lost loved ones that find it hard to get through the holidays, that hopefully we could do it together. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tell my audience how can they follow you and stay tuned into what Carol really is doing. You can find me everywhere on social media, yes. particularly on IG, there's Carol underscore the score. Yes. But you can find me, R-I-D-D-I-C-K. Yes. <laughs> God bless. God bless. You as well. Do we have this champagne? Yeah. And the hands? Yeah. All right. So, and if you don't drink, we have apple cider for you. If you want something in your glass. Because, you know, not, don't put it toasted if it's empty because that's bad luck. And no water either, because that is also bad luck. Terry's going to make a quick toast, and then I have something else I want all of you to do so I can get this on camera. Okay, hold your glasses up. Everybody got some? Happy birthday to Mama! Linda Jones. Congratulations to Linda Jones Way and Linda Jones Day, and I'm looking forward to many, many more of these. Thank you all for coming, and I love each and every one of you. Something, something, come on, come on, just a little bit. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Terry's aunt, her uncle, John's wife, and um, I had a part into raising Terry and Robbie. So I want to thank everybody for coming out and for the celebration. God bless everybody. This is awesome. So long overdue to name a street after you. Linda Jones Way, Linda Jones Day, 
and all of this on your birthday. Yes. Happy birthday, Linda. There will never be another lyric twister like you, beloved soul sister. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Rest in peace.